Hi guys, welcome back to our channel again. In this video, we will see how we can create an iCloud account. So iCloud account creation is very simple and easy. I will show you the step-by-step -step procedure uh, in this tutorial. After following this tutorial, you will be able to create an iCloud account. So for example, this is my iCloud account uh, and this is my name, few steps. And if you see that there is an email address here, uh, few steps at email at iCloud.com. So this type of email address, actually you can create by following this tutorial. So let's get started. To create an iCloud account, at first we need to uh, access the settings option. Okay, so from there we can actually follow some of the steps and then we can easily create on iCloud account within very few minutes. So let's get started. But before going to the main tutorial section, I would request you if you still can subscribe to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. Now let's get started. So at first we need to go to this settings option. So I'm tapping up the settings option and then it will come this is in. Okay, so from here we have one option like sign in to your phone. Uh, it will be at the top. So to create an iCloud account, uh, at first we need to access this option. So for your phone, it will always be at the top. So I'm going to hit here and then it will come this page. So here it is showing Apple ID. Okay, and after that there is a line sign in with your Apple ID to use iCloud and other Apple services. But we don't have any Apple ID, so we cannot do this thing. To create an Apple ID, we have to follow some other steps. So if you go a little bit down, you will see online don't have an account ID or forward it. That means uh, using this option, we can actually easily create an Apple ID. Okay, or if we forget our Apple ID, we can also restore from this option. We don't have any uh, Apple ID account, so we have to create. So I'm click tapping uh, here, I don't have an account, and then it will give us three options. Create Apple ID, forget Apple ID, and cancel. Create an Apple ID by this, using this option, that means the first option, we can create an Apple ID. And if we forget our Apple ID, then we can restore from this thing. And cancel means we can just cancel all the steps. Okay, so our goal was to create an Apple ID, so I'm going to uh, tap the first option, the create Apple ID, this option. So I'm going to tap it here and then it will uh, bring uh, this thing. It will ask us the name and birthday. Okay, so we have to put our first name here and then last name and then birthday. So once we complete this thing, then this next button will be appeared. So let's complete our first name. So I'm typing few and last name steps. And then after that, we have to choose a birthday. Okay, so once you complete the birthday, suppose for example, if we put uh, a 1999, like something like uh, January. Okay, so once you complete this birthday, then you see this next button, uh, it will uh, enable actually. Now we have to click on next button to go to the next steps, step. So I'm going to click this next and then it will come to this space. In this page, it will ask you the email address. Okay, so here is an input uh, box or input text uh, for your input, uh, email address. And this email can be any email like Gmail, Yahoo Mail. But I will not choose this option because I want to create an iCloud account and also an iCloud email altogether. So I have to choose the next option. Uh, like don't have an account address, this option. If we follow uh, this option, then we can do two things. We can create an iCloud account plus an iCloud email. So I'm going to tap in this option to start the next steps. So once I tap it here, then it will uh, prompt me this type of option. Uh, like don't have an email address and you can get a free iCloud email address to use with your Apple ID. Okay, so this is our actually target goal. Um, we will use, uh, we'll create actually on iCloud uh, email address also by using this step and also iCloud account also all together. So uh, if we choose this option, then we are getting on email address and also the iCloud account also. So I have to choose this option, uh, get an iCloud uh, email address. So I'm going to tap it on top of it. And once I tap it, then it will come this page. So here you will see uh, that here it changed actually iCloud.com. Okay, previously it was completely blank, but now it is showing that iCloud.com. So you have to choose a username here. And then at the end, it will be at iCloud.com. So I'm choosing on name like for few steps. Okay, so I choose this one, few steps at iCloud.com. And if this email address is available, uh, then you can actually use this thing. If it is not available, then you have to choose a unique email address uh, for your iCloud account. So I see this is available. So I am going to use this option. I mean, this email address, few steps at cloud.com, iCloud.com. 
so now we have to click on uh, next uh, button to go to the uh, next step so i'm going to tap on the next and we'll go to the next step of this account creation and it is showing that email address has taken I, I told you that if the email address is already taken then you will get this message your apple id could not be created because fiestaicloud.com is no longer available choose a new one okay so if the email address is not available then you will get this type of message so what you have to do you have to uh, create a unique email address so what i am going to do i'm tapping on top of the ok button because i have to choose a different one so i'm going to hit ok I mean I tapped OK and then I have to type a unique email address uh, for my iCloud. So for example, uh, I can use like fewestes.email at iCloud.com. For example, I just uh, typed it fewestes.email at iCloud.com and then after that we have to hit uh, this next. So I'm uh, tapping next and now I will see that at the bottom uh, this type of will be appeared like create fewestes.email at iCloud.com. Do you want to create this thing? and uh, this email address will become your new apple id it cannot be changed later okay so if you are okay with that uh, then we have to hit uh, create email address so i am okay with this thing so i'm going to uh, tap actually uh, this create email address this option so i'm going to tap it here and then it will uh, tell me to put a password and this, remember this thing this password must be uh, match with this of the criteria it should be at least eight characters long and include a number an uppercase letter and a lowercase number so you have to type a password which meets this criteria okay so right now i will type my password and then after that i will go to the next step so i'm typing my password so once you complete the password uh, both of the case you have to type two times on is the password and then uh, you have to uh, retype the same one just to verify whether uh, those two passwords are matched or not and after that uh, we have to click on next button uh, i mean you have to tap on the next to go to the next step so i am tapping next and it will go to the next step so here it is showing that you need to verify your phone number so uh, you can verify two ways either text message or either uh, phone call and it will show you uh, the phone number if this phone number uh, if you want to change your phone number different one you can also change so uh, right now i have this phone so uh, this number is okay so i will use this number and then how to have to do we have to tap this next button again so i'm tapping i'm tapping the next button and it will uh, show me this thing that a verification code has been sent to this number okay then we have to wait so we saw that the uh, verification code is available so we have to type this verification code here so i'm typing this verification code here now so on the verification is successful then you will get uh, this type of message uh, like terms and condition and here there are lots of terms and condition and each option has different uh, text also if you click tap here actually you will ex it will expand it uh, but i'm not going to go through those things you can actually read by yourself so now we have to do we have to actually hit this agree button that means we have to tap here so i'm going to tap this agree so it will go to the next step and here it is again asking that are you sure you want to agree so we are sure so i'm tapping this agree again and so once we tap the agree then it will uh, come to this page and it will show that uh, signing to icloud uh, this is coming that means our icloud account is creation uh, is almost complete and it is actually trying to sign in to the icloud account so once it is able to successfully sign in uh, then it will prompt uh, this sort of option enter iphone passcode okay so here you have to uh, type the passcode so i'm typing the passcode of my iphone and so once i type the passcode then it will uh, go to the next step once icloud account setup sign up is almost complete at that time you will uh, it might pop up this type of thing that your contacts on this iphone will be uploaded and merged with icloud okay so here you have two options you can merge or don't merge so if you want to merge these contacts uh, to your existing icloud account i mean the newly created iphone account then you can also do otherwise you can uh, choose this term, this option so i am choosing this one because i don't want to merge uh, this phone contact with this icloud account so i'm hitting uh, don't merge this option but for your case uh, you may uh, choose this option choose this option based on your requirement so i'm going to hit don't merge once your icloud account setup is complete then you can come to the settings option so just tap it there 
and then at the top you will see that uh, this is your regular account which you actually created so for my case i created this account so it is showing this thing and if i tap it here it will show me the details like uh, this is my name first name last name and then this is my icloud email address fearsteps.email at icloud.com okay and in this way actually we can easily create our icloud account and then we can use this icloud account to login or to access the app store account uh, so that we can actually download the applications from there so guys that's all thank you for watching hopefully by watching this video you will be able to create uh, the icloud account and later you can use it uh, for your own purposes uh, like you can install a couple of applications through app store or you can if you want to do some other things you can also do this thing so thank you guys for watching hopefully this video will be helpful for you to create an icloud account for your iphone and you can use it uh, for your iphone or any ios devices basically so if this video is helpful for you and if you enjoy this video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching see you on the next video